Hello, I am Marta from Erika Science, and in the next few minutes I will introduce you to our latest module of the Black series, the Black Code Source and the Expounder module. It is a unique stereo digital noise source, which can be used as a stereo sound source as well as a dual generator of pseudo-random control voltages. It uses a complicated calculation of polynomials of various configurations. This technology comes from techniques used in the data scrambling, and it has been used in several classic drum machines as well as arcade and computer sound chips. By using the rate knob, you can set the sample rate. When the rate frequency is high, the left and right outputs provide true stereo digital noise signal. But when the rate frequency is low, the output signals sound more like series of clicks, and they can be used as two independent sample and hold control voltage signals. While the rate knob changes the sampling frequency, three other knobs change the selection of the polynomial and its calculation starting point. Knobs, named X and Y, each set one of the 16 polynomial feedback configurations, giving more than 200 configurations in total. You can imagine it as 16 by 16 square, and with these knobs you can move around it. By turning the X and Y knob, or applying a respective control voltage, moves you through 16 horizontal and 16 vertical positions. Every combination of these two knobs gives us a unique sequence resulting in different flavors of noise and weird sounds. The knob named S sets the starting point of the selected polynomial when it is reset using the trigger signal or button. This will have the most obvious effect when the sample rate is low and outputs are used as control voltages for pitch, meaning the same sequence will restart. Rate, X, Y and S parameters can also be controlled with the external CV signals, and most CV inputs have their own level attenuators, so you can adjust the amount of every incoming CV signal before it gets added to the potentiometer's value. Using the mode switches, you can change the character of the sound. With the high rate setting, it gives nine different noise types, many of those providing perfect recreation of most kinds of classic computer music chip noises. When the sampling rate is low, with the mode switches, you can change the amount of CV levels which will come out from the left and right outputs. Amongst various modes of the code source module, there are even authentic ZX spectrum type loading and biphase Marco generator, both in stereo. Selecting the ZX spectrum mode and turning the rate knob to 2 o'clock gives the classic loading sound. While turning it higher to about 3 o'clock gives a typical fast loader sound. The biphase mar code is widely used in various things, such as magnetic cards and communication systems, and sounds thinner and has less bass. The clock input allows to substitute the internal generator with an external one, such as any VCO or audio source for pitched noise, as well as a sequencer clock pulses. On the expander module, you also have a clock output that you can use to provide sample rate to many other modules, as well as to synchronize the sample rate of other code source modules you might have. The S trigger input can be used to restart the generated pseudo random CV sequence, and for higher sample rates, it works similarly to sync inputs on VCOs, allowing to achieve various bizarre effects or a synchro type of sound. The expander module provides a useful analog pitch envelope generator called the Autoband. 
The AB rate knob controls the rate of the envelope, and the AB depth controls the influence of auto band to sample rate of the code source module. Turning it to the left gives the rising pitch effect, while turning it to the right gives a falling pitch. The center setting of the knob removes the influence of the auto band to the sample rate, while the AB output still provides the envelope signal to any other modules you may want to control with it. The AB trig input allows the auto band to be tricked independently from the code source's S trig input, while there is nothing and connect to it, the autobahn triggers from the S trick of the main module. And now let's see and hear the code source and the expander module in action. Thank you.